Hey guys, welcome back to Shake Review. In today's video, we are going to compare the Oakley Frog Skin against the Ray-Ban Original Wave Air against the Schwid Canby Sunglasses. So first off, we'll talk about the country of origin of all of these sunglasses and the dimensions. The Oakley Frog Skins have 55mm lenses and a 17mm bridge, and these sunglasses are predominantly made in China now. Now let's move on to the Ray-Ban Original Wave Air, and these sunglasses have 55mm lenses and a 22mm bridge and these sunglasses are usually made in Italy however it seems like Ray-Ban is making more and more of their frames in China so I wouldn't be too shocked to see the Ray-Ban original Wayfair being made in China very soon and the Schwid Canby sunglasses have 54 millimeter lenses and a 19 millimeter bridge and they're made from an Italian acetate material the Ray-Ban original Wayfair have nice all-metal hinges which feel very good when opening up and when closing them however when you've worn them for a couple months they're going to have a little bit of play to them and if you give it a little bit of shake the temples are going to fall in. Same is going to be the case with the Oakley Frog Skins but these sunglasses actually have all plastic lenses but if you give them a shake the temples are going to fall in just like this. Now the Schwid have probably the best hinges out of all these sunglasses and these sunglasses have very nice and premium all metal hinges which feel very good when opening up and when closing them and if you give them a shake the temples are not going to fall in or anything like that. And the Schwid's are also available in a ton of different really cool and unique looking colorways and the Ray-Ban Original Wayfair are also available in a couple of different colorways. So there's a good bit of variety in any one of these pairs of sunglasses. As far as protection goes, the Oakley Frog Skins have decent protection from sun. There's definitely going to be a gap to let sunlight in unprotected up top and then on the side again there's going to be a big gap to let sunlight in. Now the Schwid Canby sunglasses actually have probably the best coverage out of any one of these sunglasses. As far as coverage up top, there really isn't a big gap to let sunlight in unprotected and as far as coverage from the side goes again it's about the same gap as the Oakley frog skin. Now popping on these original Ray-Ban wafers these probably have the worst coverage as a huge gap to let sunlight in unprotected up top because these sunglasses have a slant to them and then here on the side again there's a relatively big gap to let sunlight in unprotected on the side of these sunglasses. As far as durability both the Oakley frog skin and the Schwid sunglasses are very durable sunglasses but in my experience with the Ray-Ban original way fair, they're going to be a little bit more delicate, you're going to have to be a little bit more careful with them or they're definitely going to break. The Ray-Ban Wayfair and the Schwid Canby sunglasses have a metal stem that runs all the way from the metal hinges all the way to the ear rest. That's going to be there for stability purposes, but these Oakley Frogston sunglasses are not going to have any metal hinges or anything like that. The Oakley Frogstons also have decent optical quality, but definitely not nearly as good as the Ray-Ban Original Wayfair or the Schwid sunglasses. On the original Ray-Ban Wayfairs, I really like Ray-Ban's G15 lens, and on the Schwid sunglasses, my favorite are their brown polarized lenses. As far as pricing goes, you can pick up a pair of Schwid Canby sunglasses for around $200. The Oakley Frog Skins with polarized lenses are going to cost you around $155, and the Ray-Ban Original Wayfair are going to cost you around $200, again, with polarized lenses. So now let's try these sunglasses on and see what they look like on face. So first off, we'll start with the Schwid sunglasses, and to give you guys a little view of how these sunglasses are going to look like on my face. Now let's pop on the Ray-Ban Original Wayfair and see how these sunglasses look on face. These are definitely a very classic look. And I see people wearing the Ray-Ban Original Wayfarers all the time. Now let's pop on the Oakley Frog Skin. And again, you see a lot of people wearing these sunglasses. They are very popular and they're really a dime a dozen. But these also do look very good on face. What I really like about these Schwid is when you put these sunglasses on, you are very unique. There aren't really too many of these sunglasses flying around. And I think they offer a really cool and unique look and feel to them. Another really cool feature of the Schwid is they have this really cool and unique looking wood inlay to them. And this really makes them pop out and look very unique. The Ray-Ban Original Wayfarers are the only sunglasses of these three that have metal accents here in the top corners of the sunglasses. The Oakley Frogstons are not going to have those metal accents and the Schwid Cranby are also not going to have those metal accents. Some people really like them and think they look classy, but others say that they really date the sunglasses. As far as attention to detail goes, the Oakley Frogstons really don't have anything to mention. The Ray-Ban Original Wayfarers have these raised Ray-Ban logos, which look really cool. And then the Schwid Canby sunglasses have this really cool wood inlay and then a metal accent that's embedded into the acetate. And again, they're actually going to also have have their logo here 
on the outside ear rest of the sunglasses. And that looks really good and you can really see the attention to detail on these frames. The Oakley Frog Skins and the Schwid Canby sunglasses are available in all clear frames, which are definitely very trendy and it seems like that's what people are really looking for right now. And I really do like these all clear frames on both the Oakley Frog Skins and the Schwid Canby sunglasses. I think all these sunglasses are definitely really good. If I had to choose between any pair of sunglasses on the table right now, I think I would choose the Schwid Canby sunglasses with these absolute beautiful looking Havana frames. I think these sunglasses look very unique and cool and I just really love the build quality and the style of them. Now before this video ends, let me try on every pair one more time so you guys can get a good idea of how these sunglasses are going to look like. Right now I'm wearing the Oakley Frog Skin sunglasses. Now I'm going to pop on the Schwid Canby sunglasses and again give you guys a really good look of how the sunglasses are going to look on face. And then last but not least here we have the Ray-Ban Original Wayfair sunglasses. And again, you guys can get a good idea of how these sunglasses are going to look like on face. But that's all we got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to hit that subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I upload a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. I'm also going to leave a poll in the corner of this video asking you guys which pair you guys think looks best. I'm definitely interested to see what you guys have to say. But that's all we got for you guys in this video. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all next one.